Well, I have a kind of a fat head, actually, and I have a very difficult time finding hats. And uh, so I have to search far and wide. And, uh, about five years ago, we uh, were on our way here for the first time, and we stopped over in Virginia City. And I found this hat in Virginia City. It was hanging up in the rafters of the Virginia City hat shop. And it actually fit my head, and my wife said, buy it. So that's where the hat came from. Here we are. <laughs> I got my hat here from John that owns Rocky Mountain Hat Company, Bozeman, Montana, I think. And I get one every year. He makes one for me every year. Here, I order one. It takes 10 months for him to make them. He makes them from scratch. There's not many places you can go where everybody dresses like this and talks like this and enjoys the same things like all of us here do. So there's definitely a feeling. Well, every individual has his own style to wear a hat, you know. Here in Elko, you see a lot of buckaroos with little low brims and the little flat brims, and, and that's pretty much style for the buckaroo in Nevada and Montana. The hats we wear are more like mine or whatever, but that doesn't, you know, the, your hat doesn't mean that you're a cowboy or not a cowboy. It's what you can do. and and what, how you can perform that makes you a cowboy. Well, I get to drive past the Stetson factory at St. Joseph, Missouri in April every year. And I generally stop and see what they have. And they've got everything there at their outlet store from about as sorry a hat as you could find to as good a hat as there is anywhere, you know. And they cut the price a little compared to stores. So I'd just stop by and see what they have, and I thought I'd like this color. But like all colors of hats, you get tired of it after a while and <laughs> want to do one. So. Right, I'm Milton Taylor, I'm a sheep shearer from Australia and I'm over here for the Elko Cowboy Poetry Gathering. This is my Akubra hat, uh, they're an iconic thing in Australia, very many types, very many styles. This is called Akubra Pedi, it's got a little opal in the side of it which distinguishes it. They're different sizes of brim, shape of the brim, uh, colours, but they serve the same purpose. Keeps the sun off you, stops you getting hot, stops you getting cold in winter. And, uh, Good to give a dog a drink out of his thirst. When you wear a hat like this, it means you're part of the rural community and uh, you stand out in a crowd. And you go to places like Sydney, they'll actually throw stones at you because you're wearing this sort of hat. So that's why you like to go back to the bush where you belong and everyone wears the Akubra. <laughs>